What's up guys, this is the intro to episode 2 of Two Screws and a Rod. It's going to be a different episode as you'll, you're about to see. I suffered an injury on the first day of shooting and it basically changed the entire direction of episode 2. But in, in saying that, there's ways to overcome situations as far as like an injury for, for that matter. And you can still find success in it. So I hope you enjoy episode 2. Let's go. So when I hooped on that day, which was Sunday, uh, yesterday was Monday. So Monday, I didn't really do much. Um, I guess what I suffered was a pretty bad knee injury on um, on Sunday playing basketball on concrete. So my advice to all you kids out there is do not play on concrete. I don't know why I still do it. I guess I wanted to do it because it was like super hot. But at the age of 32 at this point, like dude, I have no reason to be hooping on concrete. Um, so what I'm thinking is I, I, I sprained my knee pretty bad because yesterday it was so stiff. It hurt like hell. Even after I iced it, even after I took meds, it, it still hurt like hell. And today, I'm going to try going to this gym and get something done. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's bearable. I'm, I'm going to try to stay off of the knee or stay away from any knee workouts, but it's kind of hard to do that. So I'm going to go in this gym, see what we get done. It's a Tuesday. Maybe I took Monday off. Didn't get to do much because of the injury, so... Um, it feels a little bit better today, but we're going we're gonna to check that out and see how that goes. So, yeah, if you're going to take anything away from this, if you're young out there, don't hoop on concrete no more. You know, pride is a motherfucker because when I was hooping, the injury, I felt it right off the bat when, we were, when I first got out there playing 25. I felt it in the middle of a 25 game. My dumb ass still want to continue playing. So, yeah. When you feel something, don't play through it. Cause when you see the footage, well, when you saw the footage, I kept going like playing an actual game and I was playing extremely hard. So there was no purpose for that. As soon as you feel an injury, get off the court, put your pride to the side and get out of there. Cause pride is a motherfucker. Yeah, my shit's fucked up. All right, so that didn't work. Um, my damn knee was just buckling and, and and hurting every single step of the way. Um, I tried to do an elliptical, but even that hurt. Um, hell, doing bench, just doing bench hurt. So doing the lat down pulls, I was only able to do about five sets of each. But then I tried to go stretch out the knee some more and I don't know, I feel like I was just aggravating it more. So um, I think the next, uh, bit of work right now is going to be to ice it again and then try to walk at the park later on because I definitely want to keep moving I don't want to just let the the bone just be stagnant you know I don't want to be on the couch so definitely going to keep moving and um, I'm going to ice it so if I don't see much footage it's because damn me injury man of course of course once I, once I try to do this weight loss shit properly man get this dumb injury and then now it's all about rehabbing, but I'm I'm used to this. You know what I'm saying? I've I've gone through a massive fracture in, in my left ankle. I've gone through back problems. I've gone through all sorts of injuries people can necessarily deal with as, as patient as I, I, I ended up dealing with them. So we're going to deal with this, and we're going to recover. We're going to get better, and we're just going to get right back at it. So hopefully by tomorrow, this knee improves a lot more than, than it did the previous day. So let's go. So I'm just driving right, I'm gonna try to go get some chicken, but I couldn't help but notice uh, Hooters is packed at 11.46 a.m. on a Tuesday. 
Hooters is packed at 11.46 a.m. on a Tuesday. Am I missing something or is that like, is that the time to hit up Hooters? I have to figure that out. Yup, so this is what it's looking like right now. It's ice and the knee. Hopefully it gets better. So today, now uh, while I'm trying to recover from my knee injury, uh, I was granted a cool opportunity to come check out Bully Express and interview my friend Doug, who just opened the store. Basically gonna show you everything inside of it. So it's part of the part of my week, man. Always always doing something. So let's go ahead and knock this out. All right, so everything has been delayed as far as my working out, but been in clean. Um, ever since I got this knee injury, everything's just been pushed back and having to mentally stay in it, you know. So uh, today we're going to try to go for a walk, but in the meantime, we just ice in the knee every day. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go to a therapy session and uh going to get on the normal tech uh, machine. It's really good. I was gonna do it today, but I lost track of time. So right now we're just icing, and we're gonna walk later. We'll probably do a little um, resistance training on the knee, just trying to strengthen it up again, so I could be okay. Now I don't think it's a tear or anything. It's just probably a really bad sprain. So that's Wednesday, three o'clock for you. All right. So it's Thursday. It's 7:53 p.m. So I haven't been able to get the workouts in, like I told you for my knee injury, but I gotta go to Buddha Juice and try that for the first time. And hopefully it ain't booty. Hopefully it's some good healthy juice, a healthy alternative. And then uh go get a walk in immediately after that. So, and then tomorrow in the morning, go get that therapy. So we just left Buddha Juice and I ended up grabbing a orange turmeric boost um, to help with the potential inflammation I got in my knee. So what's in it? What's in it? It is carrot, cucumber, apple, orange, and turmeric. And it gives you all of the details inside. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. It smells very carrot-esque. Mm. Mine's good. Mm. I love it. I love healthy stuff. And that tasted very different. Tasted very carrot esque. Very, it had a little spice kick to it. That was interesting. Very interesting. B12 shot. And it helps with the energy. Ooh. Smells good. That's potential. I, I never smell before I eat or drink anything. That's good. I actually don't want to like chug it all. I actually like you know, how it tastes. Chug, 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 chug. That's really good. Watch, watch me feel like a million bucks tomorrow. That's really good. Are you sure you didn't put no sugar in it? Taste a little bit of your green juice. My green juice. So we got the green juice. All right, so I ended up grabbing the green juice. It has cucumber, spinach, celery, apple, kale, ginger, parsley, and lemon. Parsley. Parsley, parsley. And panitas, you get to see them make it. I didn't see them make this one. I'm about to chug the green juice. Not chug it, but. And it comes in a glass jar. The other place was in a glass jar. I knew you were going to make that face, but I love it. You just, it's an acquired taste. I'll fuck with it. Alright, let's go get this one. Alright, right now I'm trying to go for a three mile walk. We got point four eight miles so we got 2.5 miles to go so let's get it all right we're on coal and I don't know what 
other street is this? What is this? What is this main street? Cohen. I have no idea. Cohen Travis. We're on 0 0.88 miles. Try to get the three. do this one more time when we get to three i think by the time we get back we get close to three and we'll probably have to walk around that little park one more time but we're almost there we're almost there all right today is the day um we're gonna do this therapy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do like the localized um I say Cairo, cryo, localized cryo on my knee. And then we're also gonna do the compression Normatec uh, as well on the lower limbs and uh, to start the day. Shout out to my homegirl, we're gonna do this. Buddha juice the right way. Pause, but let's go. Absolute zero cryotherapy. Patients um, that I hit, I hit this one on Restoration Lounge in Dallas. So these are two places I go to for the cryotherapy stuff and the normal tech stuff. So let's go ahead and get that done. Keeping the mask on, as you know. Alright, just got done with my sessions. Damn, I think this is gonna hurt. Forgot my green juice. I need my my Buddha juice. That's what I've noticed is going downstairs hurts more than going upstairs with this knee. So, sorry, but I got my juice though. So honestly, this feels like it was the worst time to get an injury when I when I'm trying to do like this weight loss stuff. But this. This is real life, this happens. You know, when you're trying to get to a certain point physically, these things are gonna happen. And so it's, it's how you bounce back from them, how you recover from them. So normally whenever I have like issues with you know my limbs or any ligaments, I, I tend to go and get a, a normal tech compression therapy done. Uh, and today I did that and also added a localized uh, cryo, cryotherapy. And uh, that was the first time using it. That's pretty interesting, they basically just have this one and they had this cold cryo going over your leg um we'll see we'll see how the effects of it are in, in the coming days hopefully this is positive but again for the most part all i could do is really just walk and probably try to lift weights with resistant bands or, or something like that because i was trying to do i was trying to do chest of the day and i, I couldn't do it because i had to stabilize my my body with my legs and i couldn't even bend my knee to a certain level so yeah, this, this is tough, but, you know, this is real. And we're going to figure it out, how to <laughs> coat weight while being limited on what we can do. Um, but one thing we can't control is the diet. So let's eat smart. All right, so I'm about to go in this Walgreens and get the jab. Obviously up to you, all politics aside, but I'm just gonna get it, get this over with. Wish me luck, I'm scared. I've been one of those guys that don't wanna take the vaccine until it was approved, so now that it got approved, I'm out of excuses. Walgreens didn't work, hopefully CVS does. Third store, third time's the charm, let's go. I got a poo poo.
Get five dollars on. Let me get vaccinated. Hello. I'm a COVID-19 survivor. I'm out here on a windy Sunday. No, Saturday. Windy ass Saturday. I'm trying to do something stupid, but I'm trying to see if I can do anything. Played a quick game, it's a 10. Didn't strain the knee too much, but saw some positive signs out of the knee. I was able to kind of, kind of move, but, but yeah, so that was a positive outing. Now time to go ice this bitch. You wanna get in the shot down on? Oh, they get it, baby girl. Go on that side. Damn, why I gotta be on this side? Cause, now recording? you're covering the whole Pokemon. Damn, bitch, what you? Oh, goddamn. Got the Sleepy the Realist. You, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, oh, come on, bro. Good, y'all fucked up. Yeah, what's up, bro? What's up with it, man? Not much, bro. What's up, what's up? What's up? New shoes on? Can you see what shoes I got on? I got dress shoes on. Damn, you can't even see us, bro. You gotta be close, like, right? Ooh, that light. They don't know we're in, like, a jail cell right now. Sweating balls and shit, all boy. That nigga recording. All right, I'm about to weigh myself. All right, so started out the week at 299. Let's him back. Now there are a few things that I took from uh, week two, so to speak. Um, what I took is basically I still need to improve my diet. I think I had like two days where I didn't eat the best, but definitely have cut down in the amount of uh, fast food I've eaten and been eating home a lot more uh, even been trying Buddha juice so there's, there's been improvement and I think it's gonna gradually improve I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm just gonna go cold turkey and just go on a <laughs> liquid diet or whatever the case may be but uh, there's improvement and in, in just you know taking that momentum in stride and continuously improve on that and then start start implementing some intermittent fasting so that's definitely my goal for week three and uh, that's that's really what I'm trying to get to is just to, to stay consistent with improving 
not consistent with some some unrealistic diet that I know I can't maintain. But as you saw, I was able to drop about five pounds in in a week with the injury. So it's it's definitely possible. Um, and so hopefully this week is going to be a lot better, and hopefully my knee recovers a lot faster, so I can do more activities and be able to cut a little bit more weight in a short amount of time. So on a uh, episode three, let's go.